So I'm coming to you from Molly Milk on this Sunday. I'm about to get back down to the beach. So I'll try and make this as quick as possible. So advisor movements, 21 January, 2021. So number of ceased advisors, 33, switched licensees, 12 and new of six, leaving a weekly number of 27 and a year to date, a new circle that I've added to this chart of 74 for the year. So we'll keep tracking that as these videos go along. A shout out to a couple of the switches. So Triona and Anna moving to Anthony Rowe's uh, uh, Rowe Financial, um, licensed by Advice Evolution there. Um, so a shout out to Anthony Rowe and, and Natalia. So the musical chairs amongst the stockbroking groups going from Maud Minette to Morgan's. Biggest gains for the week. So Fidician up to now sitting at 84 advisors. GFM or Gillum uh, Financial Management Wealth Advisory up to down one overall from the December 2018 highs now sitting at five. Q Invest up two, as I mentioned in my last video, they're currently uh, obviously moving out of personal financial advice, but two new advisors there irrespective of that. So 49. Merley Investments at two, so now sitting at seven, a small boutique financial planning firm. Lifespan two, Advice Evolution two. So we seem to have a theme here of two new advisors amongst the biggest gains and Alliance Welfare run out of Centrepoint Alliance. So four new advisors, but did lose two. So a net gain of two. Biggest losses for this week. So two uh, advisors exiting from FSP. Uh, ELC at Bailu uh, down two, so now sitting at 97. Neo Financial Services uh, based there in Perth down two at 69. CFP uh, a net of two, uh, losing three and gaining one. Synchron three, Don Trapnell's group, uh, pretty steady from their December 2018 numbers. Aware Super. Three losses there, 252 and AMP back in the charts this week. So a down four overall, now sitting at 809 and still ranked second. So quote of the week this week goes to Hamish Douglas. I guess it relates to the massive move in the equity markets at the moment. And I guess the uh, concern as to whether this is going to be ongoing, but um, you know, I think uh, Magellan is noted for its conservative stance during the pandemic. And it's uh, Magellan's quote here in their quarterly update to their investors, this pandemic, which I would argue is still going on, is an issue of scientific complexity that the market seems to be somewhat oblivious of in terms of the risk still in front of us. So with downside risks, I guess that uh, Magellan and, and Hamish Douglas in particular as CIO and chairman um, are relaying to their shareholders, I guess it begs the question of, where 2021 will, will go. Um, we are seeing JobKeeper and JobSeeker running off in March. Um, unemployment is still at uh, fairly significant highs um, despite all the stimulus in the market. So it'll be interesting to see um, what retail investors will continue to do um, in the 2021 year, given that's where a lot of the drive and a lot of the impetus in the markets have come from. There has been some winners out of this with some of the fund managers. Um, obviously, Magellan has taken a more of a conservative stance. So you've seen their, you've seen their stock price, uh, uh, I guess, uh, go backwards accordingly. Um, but that's it for the week. Um, shout out to Alex Vikovic, who brought this uh, to my attention in the financial review. Um, but we'll keep you updated with the financial movements for next week. And if you haven't got onto the platform already, please do um, claim your profile and get reviews. Thanks.